A star has been born this summer. Emma Hayes has grabbed the public's attention with her excellent punditry on this summer's Euros. She's already the most successful manager in Chelsea history with her management of the Chelsea women's team. But what would happen if she got given the Chelsea men's job? Let's go and find out. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And today we are looking at Emma Hayes in charge of the Chelsea men's national team. How will she get on? Will she win the Champions League with them? Will she win the league? And also, we'll have a look at the tactics she uses and the transfers she brings in, all of that good stuff. We're going to check it out here. So, we're going to start off with looking at our profile. And you can see here that she is indeed in charge of Chelsea. You can see it up at the top. And her attributes, not going to lie, I think they're a little bit low. From what I've seen in the um, on the Euros, on her punditry, she's been very, very good. But... These attributes, I've not touched them. I've not changed them. She was in the game from the start. She was in the database. And so I've just moved her over to Chelsea. And well, she's got 11 for attacking, 11 defending, 10 fitness, 12 mental. Tactical should definitely be higher. Tactical should be a lot, lot, lot higher than that, I think. And her technicals probably as well. But you can see she's got a balanced personality. She tends to have a large senior squad. She likes to use counter-attacks. And also she likes to use subs. Don't all managers use substitutes? If someone can explain what that means there, then please do. But what she tends not to do is fit players into her preferred tactic. And she tends not to sit back and protect a lead. So... Maybe in this first season, Chelsea might get some exciting football. And so, just before we do go forward until the end of the season, I'm going to make a prediction. Third in the league. Third, I think Chelsea are going to get. Let me know down below what you think. Pause the video now and make a prediction as to where you think Chelsea are going to end up in the end of this first season. Well, 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 people. Um, This is awkward. This is going to be a very short video because Emma Hayes has not even lasted one season as Chelsea manager. You can see up at the top, she's now unemployed. Um, let's go and have a look and see what happened. So here we are on the Chelsea manager's screen. And well, you can see she joined on the 1st of July. And she got sacked on the 9th of January, 2021. So she only lasted 192 days. What's that? That's about six months. So, yeah. Wasn't expecting that, if I'm going to be honest with you people. Let's have a look and see if she brought in any transfers before she did get sacked in that summer. Okay. So it looks like she brought in two players, Mukhtar Diakabi from Valencia for 14.5 million quid. Let's just have a look, see how he did. In his first season, he played 14 games, only got the one goal, but he is a central defender, so you might expect that, and only got an average rating of 6.85. So if he only played 14 times, I'm guessing... Um, Massimo Allegri, who replaced Emma Hayes, uh, didn't really fancy him. Did he have any injuries? Uh, he had a few, but nothing terrible. So, yeah, it must have just been a case of Emma Hayes liking him more than Massimo Allegri. And also, she brought in Christopher Dillo. I'm guessing that's a youngster. Uh, no, 27-year-old goalkeeper. Never heard of him. Where's he been before? Uh, S.O. Soleil on loan from Paris FC. 
interesting choice for a goalkeeper. Okay. And so those were her only two signings. And they've also brought in Raphael Lau in this summer after the season's ended. And so let's have a look. How did they do? Let's go Chelsea's schedule. And so you can see the Premier League started in September. And Emma Hayes did not start well. Losing twice to Tottenham. Once to Liverpool. Losing to Tottenham in both competitions in the league. And losing on penalties in the EFL Cup. She finally got her first win over Watford and then went another couple unbeaten. Beating Leicester, that's a decent result. But losing to Bayern Munich in the Champions League, a drawing with Ajax, losing to Man U, beating West Ham. Not very happy about that, but OK. Locomotive Moscow getting a win there. A drawing with Arsenal, losing to Everton, but... December was a very good month. It looked like she was starting to turn things round. They beat Bayern Munich, beat Ajax. Did they make their way out of that group? Yes, they did. They came second in the group, four points behind Bayern Munich. I think that's decent. I think as a Chelsea fan, you would take that. And so, yeah, December was looking very, very good. Brilliant 3-0 win against Villa, 2-0 against Norwich. She got Timo Werner scoring, which, uh, what's his name? Tuchel's not been able to do that much, I don't think, this season. And then Hakim Ziyech and Werner again, getting goals against Brighton. Drew 2 all with Newcastle. 1-1 against Brentford. That's a little bit disappointing. And then her final game was a 1-0 defeat to Leeds. I think that's a little bit harsh. I do think that that is a little tiny bit harsh. If you ask me, uh, they was playing a 5-2-2-1 for most of the season. I think for all the games, Emma Hayes was in charge, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, and that seemed to be working well, especially that last month. I I think that's harsh of Roman Abramovich, to be honest. Let's go and have a look and see where they finished in the league last season. We have just simmed a bit too much to see the different positions in the league throughout the season, unfortunately. So, sorry about that. I do apologise for that. But now, let's go and have a look, see where they finished. They finished the season in seventh in the league. So, maybe, maybe Abramovich panicked a little bit. Maybe he saw the Champions League might not be on. And so he panicked and he sacked Emma Hayes. But even Allegri, who was in charge for the second half of the season, even he couldn't get them into the Champions League spots. So next season could be interesting for Chelsea. And so once again, Brentford again getting relegated in one of my simulations. Every simulation I've done... Brentford have finished last and got relegated. But on my offline Man U save, they're mid-table. So, don't know what that tells you about these simulations. But yeah, that's just a little bit of a side note that I thought I would throw in there when I just spotted that. And so, I think, I think, I think, I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, I might just carry running this on and just see if Emma Hayes gets another job. I doubt she will, but if she does, I might do a second part to this experiment. And yeah, so guys, on a very short note, that's where we are going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed this video, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. And make sure you check out tomorrow's video. Because it's going to be another experiment. England in the Premier League. And also, I'm doing a giveaway with that because it's my birthday tomorrow. If you write in the comments to this video how many points you think England will get in the Premier League, it's our Euros 2020 squad. So, if you do think... Yeah, just let me know how many points you think England will get in the Premier League and closest can win a map from Sports Club Maps. 
They're very, very cool. I'll leave a link to their website down below so you can go and check them out. But yeah, guys, follow me on Twitter at Taylor M Gaming. And yeah, that's everything for today. I'll see you tomorrow for my birthday video. Bye.